So I'm no math major or anything. Math has never been my strong suit. And either is MLB the show, apparently, because in their logic, 6 plus 1 equals 6? So the game yesterday did not count. From what I am seeing, did not count. So this, this is the case. As I'm going to say this at the beginning because this is going to be the situation if this continues. If this game that I'm going to be playing right in front of your faces does not count, I will be boycotting BR until this shit is fixed. Because BR is broken. Broken. 100% broken. Rank Seasons is... It's not fine, but it's not broken. Because every single ranked seasons game, like I was saying yesterday, might go to the queue, and just shit might ha sh weird shit is probably gonna happen regardless. But eventually, it will show up. Like the the ranked seasons game I played yesterday in the Justin Upton and Johnny Bench debut game that went to, I'm pretty sure that game went to the queue afterwards, of course, and then it didn't show up originally. But then I came on today. I think my rating was 636 or something yesterday when that game took place, and then or wait. Well, I don't even know what it was. I think it was, I think my rating was like 664 or something. And then I came on today and it was 636 because, yeah, I did lose that game. So it did end up counting. And that's been the case for a couple games too because, yeah, some games that I did win, they would go to the queue and then a couple hours would go by and then it would eventually show up. But BR, no. Nope. BR is broken. 100% BR is broken, man. And yes, 100 it, like I'm going to be not, I'm not going to be playing BR. If this shit is going to continue, there's no point. What's the point? If your games aren't going to count, what is the point? So this would be, you know, the most annoying thing ever. If I win this game, I could have eight wins. If I do get lucky enough to win this game. But apparently I only have six still. I mean, after the last maintenance, everything is worse. You know, if you think maintenances would be better for games, the last maintenance made everything 10 million times worse. So, yeah, that's just going to be the case. So, if this game, I'll probably, you know, find that out tonight sometime. If the game ends up counting or just, you know, something does end up counting with BR, I will find that out tonight. So, uh, the videos I post tomorrow, I guess everyone will find out if BR will be boycotted for a little bit. And I'll just be playing ranked seasons from here on out. At least until BR is fixed, man. But that's just been my situation. BR is the is the main problem right now. 100%, man. Ranked Seasons is working, but BR is unplayable. Even missions and stuff are still counting for me. Like, when I do missions and games go to the queue and stuff after, they'll eventually show up. It, like, like I said, it'll, you know, it depends on how much time you'll have to wait before it does show up, but they, they will eventually show up. But no, Battle Royale is just, you know, it's just gone. It's just, it's not existing. It does not exist. BR is not a game mode in this game at the moment because nothing works. So either way, that I just want to say that because, yeah, some people, well, everyone won't be able to see some BR games from myself until this is working. And yeah, that's just, that's just the case. So this game, apparently I still got six wins. So, I mean, I didn't even really know if I should even care about this game, right? Because if I did win or lose, would it even end up counting? So, I mean, I was just coming out and just, you know, didn't really give two shits about what happened because God knows anything. Like, if you just want to practice the game at this moment without anything counting, play BR. You'll be able to play with amazing players. Nothing will count from what I'm seeing. So, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I was just pretty much playing this game. I was just sitting back, laid back, just sitting there, you know. Nothing, nothing to really care about. The Sanchez is up, and I still don't have a hit in this game. Even though it's only the second inning, I usually get off to a pretty decent starts with this squad. I usually do. But right there, man, dude, the Sanchez has been getting a little, uh, getting unlucky the past couple of games. I've sent a couple of these long, you know, long towering uh, fly balls to the warning track pretty much. And I wasn't able to get any home runs in the past couple games because that was what was happening with the Sanchez. I was just hitting some fly balls to the warning track. That's another one right there. So I did not get any more runs. Top of the third. Nothing has happened in this game. I mean, this guy could have got something going very quick. He got a lead-off double in the very first inning. And then for some reason, he was trying to... I don't know if he made a mistake. He was just holding L1 or he mistake. He just didn't mean to press the, uh, the square button to go to third base. But this guy made a huge mistake in the first inning. He was able to get that out after the double. 
And then, yeah, pretty much from here on out, it was pretty much just a pitcher's duel. This guy's taking the walk right there. So he's getting somebody on base. And then stealing second base, first pitch. I would have done the same thing, man. Get this game over with is what this guy was saying. I haven't played a BR game yet that's gone into extra innings. So I wasn't looking to uh, get my first extra inning game on the board. Because, yeah, I'm not, look I'm not looking to play 45-minute BR games and then not even count. That's what I'm saying. But I'm able to get the final out of that inning now in the bottom of the third. So everyone knows what that means. A walk-off could take place. Bichette is up. So need to get the leadoff guy on because that would be, you know, just get the leadoff guy on. That's all that needs to happen and possibly send something to the gap and then get the winning run in. But unfortunately, Bichette wasn't able to get on base. I was sitting on the high heat right there. I didn't even care if that was up by my teeth. I didn't care if it was down by my shoe tops. I was swinging at the heat. This guy had flamethrowers in the pen 100%. This guy had, if you look at this guy's bullpen, there would be smoke coming out of the bullpen. This guy had flamethrowers coming out of the pen every single time he put somebody in. So Hunter Strickland is in right now, I'm pretty sure. And then final out of this inning is just a fly ball to third base. So now we are going in extras. So this is when uh, the bullpen is very active. When you get to extra innings, you don't want to give up anything, give this guy the lead, or give this guy the lead, and then don't want to uh, get yourself in a situation where you have to make a comeback in this game. Especially in BR, and yeah, like, don't want this game to be extra long since we don't even know how the hell this game is going to turn out, win or lose. So, getting the first out right there and a fly ball to Goldschmidt. So, Buster Posey is up, and like I said, this was pretty much a pitcher's duel from the first inning on because, yeah, I still don't have a base hit yet in this game. I still got a donut on the board, so the squad needs to get something going quick. I mean, first four innings weren't it weren't even close to successful for the squad. So yeah, I need to get something going quick. Bottom of the, or top of the fifth now for this guy. He's going down swinging, and then two down now. So yeah, this guy was I don't know. This guy was wasn't really sitting on a lot of stuff. So some some guys are just sitting on high fastballs. Some guys are just sitting up sitting on off speed stuff. But yeah, this guy was kind of uh, just. Mixing it up a little bit. Sometimes he was on the fastball. Sometimes he was on the off-speed pitches and stuff. So this guy was doing... Uh, he wasn't really making that much solid contact after the first inning. I mean, he was able to get a couple strikeouts here and there. That should have... Dude, that should have been hit to the top floor of the hotel. Robinson Cano. I got a hold of that one. That is a fly ball to center field. Robbie Cano could have walked it off and done something amazing for this squad yet again. But that was just a fly ball to center field. So now Griffey is up. This is the rookie Griffey. So doesn't have that much power. I mean, I haven't really been uh, power swinging that much with this Griffey. Because, yeah, he doesn't... I think I only have one home run. Or maybe two. And it may, and they both may have came in ranked season. So I don't think I have a home run yet with this, uh, with this uh, rookie Griffey. So I'm just looking to get on base. Because 84 speed, two could possibly take off for second base. And then get a runner in scoring position for Ernie Banks. The man who's been probably not doing the most. I guess Robinson Cano has been doing the most. But one of the guys who's been doing the most. Ground ball to short right there. This guy also had Ernie Banks too. So Ernie Banks makes the play. So now Ernie Banks is up. So you, yeah, power swinging all the way. I'm not looking to extend this game any longer. This game is going to end via the walk-off is what I was saying. There's no chance in hell this game is going to be just scrounging together a couple singles and then trying to get some dirty runs in. No, this game would end via a walk-off is what I, exactly I was saying. Because yeah, still no hits on the board for myself. And then just getting under that one with Banks. So Cano... Could have possibly sent the squad home with the W, maybe, who knows, for God's sakes. But Ernie Banks just got under one right there, too. So that ends that inning. So now we're going to the top of the sixth. So this is getting a little bit lengthy now. Don't want this to go any further. I mean, man, sneaking in a couple sketchy fastballs right there. At this point in time, I figured this guy, yeah, this guy was definitely sitting on some off-speed stuff in a couple of these at-bats because some of these fastballs were right in the wheelhouse and he wasn't swinging either that or he was just looking to get on base any way, shape, or form. He probably was. He was probably just looking to get on base any way so we could possibly get that uh, go-ahead run on base. But Adam Jones, I think that was, fly ball to right field. So now two down. It's looking good. Look at this guy, man. This guy could have easily hit those to the moon. Two huge mistakes in this inning. Little fastballs right down Broadway pretty much. Doesn't swing at them. Final out. Griffey makes the grab. So bottom of the sixth. 
Still no hits. Something needs to be done. Goldschmidt is leading it off. Again, it, this would not end from just getting singles and shit. I was saying power swing. The square button is dangling off my controller at this very moment from this game. Trying to get something on the board with Goldschmidt. That was a late swing. Line drive to right field. Not able to capitalize. And then Wade Boggs just hitting a fly ball to left field. So, Gary San the Sanchez could do it. Could do it for the squad. Come on. This is your time to shine, Sanchez. Come on, buddy. This, is this needs to happen right there. Getting brushed up and in. Next pitch. Send it one deep. But it, it is foul. It's just foul. But you know Sanchez is going to do something. He has to. The 1-1. One, one. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off. Home run. Gary Sanchez is the best to ever step foot on a baseball diamond. Walks it off for the squad. The only hit in the game for, th for this team was a walk-off from Gary Sanchez. Like I said, uh, yeah, like this game did go to the queue. So I'm not, I have no idea what's going to happen. I will find out later today. And then we will see what BR will be, you know, what will happen with BR.